Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to download some data from the Africa Data Dissemination Service website, which is in WinDisk format, then how to export that image from WinDisp into Idrisi so that you can use the same data in both WinDisp and Idrisi. So the first thing we need to do is go to the ADDS website where I already am and if you scroll down where it says by theme and then click on satellite slash image data and then a moment or two later another web page should pop up and here we can select the type of image that we want, NDVI, rainfall, whatever. Well, I'm going to leave it at NDVI as the default. And I'm going to ask for all of Africa. OK, now it's asking for a date range. And it splits the year up into 10-day blocks called decads. So there are 36. 10 day blocks because it's 365 days in a year but it's the nearest 10 days so the first 10 days of January 2005 would be decade number one from January and then you just select 2005 and then click on search and it should just be one image a single decade image and there we go for January 2005 there are two options WD and BIL, two different file types. And obviously, if we're going to be using WinDisp, we need to click on the WD option. And when we click on it, we can then save it to the hard drive. So you click on Save. And I'm going to save it to my C drive. And we're going to save it to a folder called Data. Notice here that it says Compressed Zipped Folder. That's because in order to save the amount of time it takes transmitting the data over the internet, it actually compresses the data first and it compresses it in a format called a zip file. Don't be put off by this cryptic file name, that's actually just an amalgam of the uh, type of data and the year and the decad so that you can actually determine what the data file is by its name. So we'll just click on save for now and it's done that. So I'm in the C folder here now on my hard drive and this is what I've just downloaded from here from the ADDS and remember it's a compressed file and Windows has actually recognized that it's a compressed file and it's in zip format because it's put this little graphic of a zip on it so before we can actually use it in WinDisp we have to decompress it now there's an easy way of doing that you click on it with the right hand mouse button and you select extract all. Then we get this little wizard coming up, this extraction wizard, and you just click next and next and then finish. And what it's actually done is created a new folder and the name of the folder is actually the same as the name of the file that we just downloaded. And if you go into that folder, you'll see there's the image. So this is actually now a decompressed WinDisp image. So we can open that in WinDisp. So what I actually want to do with WinDisp is convert that file into an Idrisi image so I can use Idrisi. So I select Process, Export, Idrisi Image. Now I need to tell it the name of the file to export. Now that's in my C folder, Data, and remember it's got that cryptic file name. So I select it, click Open. Now it needs to know the name of the file to create, which is going to be the Idrisi image. So I'm going to keep it in the C data folder, and I'm just going to call it Idrisi, just to, because it's an example image to show you how to do this. The most important thing here is to give it the .img file extension. It says here with extension. If you don't put .img, Idrisi won't be able to see it. Idrisi is expecting 16-bit Idrisi images to have a .img file extension. If it doesn't, it can't see them. So once we've done that, we just click on OK, and it tells us that it's done now, it's finished. So now we can go into Idrisi and we can import it. So to do that, we go to File, we select Idrisi Conversion Tools, and it says here Convert From, and we're converting from 16-bit version of Idrisi 
all 16-bit versions of Idrisi files have a .img extension and we convert it to the latest version which is Idrisi 32 because that's the version of Idrisi software that we've got and we can't actually use 16-bit version files we have to use this module to convert the format first and so we'll leave that as it is by default and now we just need to tell it here the input file that we want to convert and so it's in the C data directory and you can browse to it if you need to and it's called Idrisi and the file names can be the same or they can be different it doesn't matter you won't actually find it overwriting the 16-bit version because it has a different file extension so you could actually change this to anything you'd like the output image but I'll just leave it as it is at the moment so they're both called Idrisi and then you just click on OK and it says conversion completed and we can check that by actually trying to open that image now and it recognizes it as, as a 32-bit version because it's listed it here Idrisi and it's NDVI so we'll select an NDVI palette file and we click on OK and there it is there's our image which we've just downloaded from the ADDS website into WinDisp then exported from WinDisp as a 16-bit version of Dreesy file and here is the now imported 32-bit version.